This broadcast is made possible by our ITVN partners and friends. Stay tuned for our live Sunday service. First question is, who? Who am I? Why am I here? The second question. Why am I here? The third question is, where am I going? Where am I going? Fourth question is, how will I get there? How will I get there? When I get there, what will I have? A lot of us, we said, by the age 40, this. Now you are 45. Tell your neighbor. You said by the age of 40, this. Now you are 45. What has happened? A lot of us have said by the age of 40, this. But now we are 45. Some of us at 25, when I finish school, finish university, this. Now you finish school. You don't even know where a degree paper is. Tell your neighbor. You don't even know what a degree paper is. When you received, there was a celebration. Yeah! You walked up and we saw you. You took it, the paper. That was the last time you saw the paper. What is happening? Now you are just adapted now. You have conformed to say this is my fate. It can't be. Can you be educated to become nothing? Then something is wrong. You are just not seeing your problem. And what happens is you even have a team of people like you to console each other in directionless life. Instead of breaking off to say, no, here we are just encouraging each other to die miserably. Any achiever, the answer question three and four properly. It relates to preparation and performance. A lot of us now, we have found an excuse not to move any further because of COVID. COVID has become our bed. All excuses are hanging around there. Question number one, question number two, and question number five, they are complex. If you read, if you wrote them. What is question one? Who am I? Two. Why am I here? Five. When I get there, what will I have? Those three, they deal with principles, purpose, and perspective. When you don't have a principle, you are not living a principled life. You are neither here nor there. Forget about success. Success, you don't collide with it. It's a lie. People don't want to prepare because preparation is work. We are all born to achieve. That I can tell you. I'm on God's side. It does not create anything that is useless. No. No. 
Some of us have got children at home right now. They are just watching video game on phone. When they take geography book, they are snoring. Tell your neighbor. When they take geography book, they are snoring. Look at this one. What are you watching? Uh, the assassin. Now look, you have been assassinated. <laughs> Tell your children, sit down with them. They know nothing apart from these games. You are a parent. 15, 20 years from now, this guy should be a mother or this man should be a man. Are we teaching them these things? You cannot leave everything to school teacher. You are lying. You are lazy. If you don't know these modern things, like I am, ask someone who knows, please, teach my child this. Me, I don't know this. This child, you will benefit from him or her. You are preparing this child for greatness. Failure does not start at school. School is just a test. Whether you're at home, you have prepared your child. If you have not prepared your child at home, the school will expose you. Ah, you are quiet because you didn't want any responsibility. Tell them. We are quiet because you didn't want any responsibility. You wanted every blame to teacher. This school, no, no. This school, no. Mm -mm. Those are the five points. Even you, if you see that your life is seco, 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 ah, how will you come out of this seco? In a circle, you say next year we improve. How? Ask your neighbor. In a circle, you say next year I will improve. How? Let's discuss. Hmm. Yes, yes, sir. What, ca can you help me? Because me, I've tried to think about circle to come out. Maybe you have an answer for me. Yes, sir. Please, a visitor. Mm hmm. Thank you for the opportunity, Prophet. Thank you. Uh, the circle is very difficult. Amen. We cannot come out from a circle if we are not, if we don't have principle, especially within us, the principle of doing things the right way. That is. Let's clap for Jesus. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. Circle. You can't come out. You you lacking principle. You lack purpose. Purpose. You got friends now. They just wake up, eat, sleep. Wake up, check computer, reply to see. But what are you doing? I was telling, I told one of my sons, here in the Lord, he's got flowers around the house this time instead of cabbage. Tell him never. He's got flowers around the house this time instead of cabbage. What are flowers going to do to you? Nothing. But you got flowers and you're watering. And you don't even know the names of the flowers. <laughs> Uproot these things. Put tomato. Put things that will benefit. Put it there. We should face reality. Those in the flat, take bucket, plant in a bucket. Don't be lazy because others say, praise God, I'm in a flat. No. <laughs> Cut that bucket, put soil, put plant. You Look. What I'm say, saying to you is progress. This is progress. 
Do you have a purpose for your life? Anyone who can answer these questions, it shows that you are putting higher priority on being true to yourself. Others even now, if I can ask question one to five, they say, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Even me, I don't know you. Even God say, I don't know you. He cannot force success on you. Stop impressing people and answer these five questions. People who impress people, they will not answer any of those. If they do, they'll be answering and dodging a true answer. Anyone here, I'm telling you, who answers all five questions honestly and promptly, not, uh, let me think, let me think. Uh, at the time I was doing second year, uh, I wanted to be, okay, look, whatever you wanted to be, what have you become? Let's start now. What have you become from whatever you wanted to be? Why, why do you even want to look big in answering your own question for life? You're impressing so many people, but there's no progress. And the people you're impressing, some of them, they are now overtaking you. No, I'm telling you the truth. This is the beginning of others to say, look, I've been wasting time. Who am I? These are questions for anyone who wants a better quality life. Not a pretended, inverted comma life. No. No. Jose. Oh, who come? Oh, oh, I'll see you, huh? Oh, beautiful, my son. Thank you. Is these things, you know, that you... This, this uh, that you wear. Hmm. When you answer question one to five, honestly, even when I can wake you up, come, come, you answer. Question one, question two, just like that, from sleep. Ah, this one will become a person whom God always wanted him to become. There's a picture of you that God wants you to become. I want to ask a question to, I don't know why I started with this. The, the real message, I've not touched it. But I think I'll end up with this. Because no, this was not the message. This is the message, this one. So I don't know what to do. Hello, my daughter. <laughs> you have changed the message here. This was just to ask you to wake up. But it seems it's a message now. Hello? Why? My daughter last one there. Yes. Why, my girl? It's difficult. I thank you so much, Prophet, for the opportunity. Yes. Um, I mean, the aim of this message uh, for today is like, it's because most of us, we don't even know where we are going. We don't live principled life. We just live our life haphazardly. And then at the end of the day, we end up failing because we want to impress our friends and those oh. that we don't even know. Let's go for Jesus. Amen. My daughter, I gave you 101% one one out of 100. 101. One. Oh, thank you. It's even <laughs> <accident. Okay. laughs> You know why? A lot of people now, they only realize that they are old. From university, 
Now they just see that they are old. They don't know what happened in the middle. They were living for image, not integrity. Are you living for image or integrity? Discuss. Are you living for image or integrity? Image is what others think you are. You present yourself for people to think that's who you are. Image. Buying chair in the house, you buy for image. Take you 20 years to finish chair. By the time you finish chair, it's broken. I don't know why you are paying. That is what? Image. You do things not because that's how they should be done. You do them because others should think that's who you are. You got no best, you got no foundation. And when it cracks there, when it, it, the balloon bursts, we don't know. We don't know. There's still time. You can start living for integrity, not image. You are deep in thought. Hello? Are we together? Are you here? Please stand up. Hmm? What have you heard? Um, we are always in uh, circles and also failing to live according to the purpose of God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Thank you. Image See your friends. See your friends. They are not real. So that they give you more homework to try to impress these unreal people. You can't have coffee in Hebrew ticket. You go 20 rand, you, you go to Santo and Mandela Square. Tea, tea, coffee, 15 rand. You don't give tip because you know when you give tip, you won't have taxi money to go back. <laughs> Integrity is the real you. The real you. You don't waste time with superficial things. It's the real you. People laugh at you. People do anything, but this is you. When you are real you, that's the beginning of achievement. Yeah, that's the beginning of it. If you don't know your real you, question number one, who am I? Forget about an achievement. Who are you? Forget about any other. All you are telling me is just nightmare. Bo, 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 sleep. Continue. Do you know that it takes a lot of courage to be true to yourself? I'm not lying. It, it doesn't take anything to lie and impress. It doesn't take anything. When you find your friends, your so-called friends, because you didn't know which university they went to, so they're talking. You know, the time I was doing first year, life was tough. So you, you say, hey, the time I was doing third year. <laughs> life was tough in third year. 
It's when you are asked, which school did you go to? You say, because you might say the school this one went to. <laughs> so you're scared now. You say, you went where are you? <laughs> it's the beginning of trouble, yeah. You will always be in trouble when you try to handle your life without God. You always be in trouble. I love and I wish the government will continue. Every time they ask whoever you are, no matter how high you think, see you what and what to say, give us your metric certificate. <laughs> there are clap for the government. Even if you are CEO of a company, in filling in your CV, attach your metric certificate. You find a lot is blank. Because the qualification is from, you know where they get these things. They print them. Metric certificate, they say, let the school confirm this. Hey! <laughs> Go to confirm. Ah, there are now languages. Victory is the property of faith. When you have faith, victory is yours. When one has got God, one does not have boundaries. One has only got possibilities. Tell your neighbor. When one has got God, one does not have boundaries. Mm -mm. One has got possibilities. That's it. It's only possibilities. So, when I see someone getting better, I say, hey, that, thank God for that one. And I'll befriend that one. I say, hey, what are you doing? Not to compete with this one. To learn from this one. And learning genuinely. I've seen a lot of people here in impact. Blowing chances. Because the one who help, wants to help them, they go there to echo them. So how can you be helped? And when you are looking for help, stop lying. Lying stops progress. This easy, comfortable life that you are looking for it will make you see giants everywhere. Because you want easy, comfortable life. There's no such. There's no such. I remember my late uncle was very, very, uh, he was, I don't know, he was someone else also. He was going every time for the jugular. So I had a young brother. Do I have or had? Because some of them have gone, you know? No, I have. We still are breathing. No, I have, yeah, he's still breathing. <laughs> so he went to visit him at home. First day they say he's tired. They went to the field. Second day, he's still tired. Third day, they came from the field, 
they had lunch. And him woke up, came for lunch. They are sitting down. So my, he picked, you know, lazy people, they take a lot of share. <laughs> because they know they don't know when the next one will come. Then they are lazy. So he took a lot of whatever, pap, I think. So he was busy enjoying the meal. Then my uncle says, hmm? my nephew, this is good, huh? he says, very good. He says, this comes out of hard work. He lost appetite. Tell him never. <laughs> because he knew. He's just eating. It doesn't labor for anything. Proverbs 22, verse 1. Proverbs chapter 22, verse 1. A good name is to be chosen rather than great riches, loving favor rather than silver and gold. <sighs> Again, please, sir. Proverbs 22, verse 1. A good name is to be chosen rather than great riches, loving favor rather than silver and gold. I just want to warn those, it's a father warning, those who choose to be untrue to themselves and dishonest with others, untrue to yourself and dishonest to others. This will be your initial costs. When you are untrue, to yourself. You always be having a worried mind. There are people here now. Always having what? A worried mind. You are untrue to yourself. So you think anytime someone will discover you that you are untrue. You even carry panado bag. This headache doesn't finish. This day, ah, ah, sir. Confess. Confess. You are not a factory for panado. Confess. This worried mind. It can't just come. That's why you see people, they say they are 18 years, but they look as if they are getting into 39. Tell your neighbor. That's why you see people, they say they are 18 years, but they look as if they are just getting into 39. This is not first for 18. What happened? Untrue to themselves. Worried. Mind. And dishonest to others. So how can you visit? When you meet at a filling station, you say, I'm on a long trip. I've got a contract in Namibia. That's why you didn't see me here. Please give me your number. Ah, but I gave you a number last month. I lost that phone. I lost it. Give me another number. Why are you living like this? Have you really been honest with yourself, with your age? Because it seems every year, you are the only person who doesn't increase <laughs> in years. Tell your neighbor. <laughs> Have you really been honest with yourself with your age? Because every year, you seem to be the only person who doesn't increase in years. Nothing. How old are you? 29, I'm going to 30. You've been there for five years. 29, <laughs> going to 30. <laughs> <laughs> I feel pity because you are wasting time and you are wasting years. You are wasting yourself. 
You are wasting time. You are wa everything is a wastage. Because you, are, you, you won't get this. When you are untrue to yourself and dishonest with others, you have a troubled heart. You are sitting down, but as if you are running 100 meter. Heartbeat. What's wrong? Huh? You know what I'm talking about? Eh? Troubled? Heart. You don't have a heart problem. You are failing to be honest with yourself. When you can be honest with yourself, every machine will just become normal. You are the people troubling doctors. Tell your neighbor. You are the people troubling doctors. But yep, this problem is you. Be real to yourself and real to your friends. All this become normal. And this is where Christianity starts from. You borrow a car from your friend. You go far, far away from where people know this car. And there you propose woman. <laughs> but why this? Is this your car now? Yes, yes, yes. I just got it. So I came that we go for lunch. Oh, give me five minutes. Also, you being deceived. You wear your hair now, like this. <laughs> and put sunglasses. Big one. <laughs> Where are you going? No, he came to pick me for lunch. Is this his car? You're telling everyone in the family. No, uh, Mama. He's the one. Also boasting to our other friends and all. No, at our home now. Hunger has been stopped. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Number one, this is so sudden. And anything sudden raises question marks. If you are coming from a well balanced family. Question? Marks. So you say, okay. You keep quiet. Because next week, you will say the car, you was hijacked. So insurance is working on it now. Insurance? Mm. Okay. Insurance, five years. And by this time, you had twins for him. Ah! And you're telling your child, no, your father is coming, his insurance. <laughs> Patience. Patience. Why patience? Because you like to find out truth. Truth gives you peace of mind because it's truth. It can change. Truth gives you long life because your body is not fighting itself. It's not.
troubled mind. Troubled heart. These are big things. You have damaged your own heart because of wanting to have an image. And this is not the end. When you untrue to yourself and dishonest to others. For number three. Restless body. What did they say? I saw you talking. Whom are you talking to? You are going to market. I'm also going to market. Look, mama, papa, sit down. Why are you everywhere? And you got your own yard at home. You are always looking at the road, peeping. You want to join anyone going anywhere. But why? And restless body, they are always seeming as if they are there to help. They are lying. They are afraid of themselves. Somebody is going, the family is going to identify a body at mortuary. He says, I can accompany you. Are you a member of the family? <laughs> Ask your neighbor. <laughs> Are you a member of this family? Restless. You think staying in a house, you'll be discovered. You are so scared of being discovered because when you are discovered, then you have been found. When you've been found, you can be helped. Yes. Now, no one can help you because you haven't been discovered. You don't know who you are. Look, your parent, mama, papa, when you went to Easter, you, you told them, no roof I will mend before June. This is what now? Next week is what? May. When June comes, mama, I didn't mean this year. You know this year is COVID June. <laughs> it's the one coming, mama, where there's no COVID. Because now, even the people to cover roof, they need to have COVID test to go up. <laughs> hmm. Why? How does your family know you? A daughter of truth? Or a daughter of so-and-so? So-and-so. What did she say? Ah, hey, so-and-so. <laughs> Hey, others not, seeing is believing, oh, they have canceled you out. Be a person of few words, big action. That's integrity. You go home to impress people, for what? Look at your friends that you walk, you move around with. What they wear, dress. They wear abbreviation of dress. Tell your neighbor. Look at the friends that you are going around with. They wear abbreviation of dress. I said, tell your neighbor. Abbreviation means it's not complete. <laughs> but they wear it. Tell you never. Abbreviation means it's not complete, but they wear it. And those are your friends. They wear what? Abbreviation of dress. It's 
so. Be real. Some of us, we come from very decent background. Light of Johannesburg has confused us. I don't know why. If your parent can come, I know where you stand, I know your parent, I say, come in the evening. Mama, that's your daughter. She can't be my daughter. She can't. She can't. <laughs> that's the one. Why? Image. Instead of integrity. Blessing is to those who, with integrity, not image. Image is just wastage. You can't accumulate. You cannot accumulate. Now, when, when you're not true to yourself and dishonest with others, and finally, this is... Now, all those worried mind, troubled heart, restless body, and finally, you are caught up in the web of self-destruction. You destroy yourself. Because there's hopelessness, there's no, I don't know. Some of you even say, life doesn't, has got no meaning. Who told you life has got no meaning? Life has got meaning. Eh? Life has got its own signature. When you look at yourself now, when you look at your neighbor, can you say, this one is enjoying life or life is enjoying her? <laughs> Discuss. When look you look at each at other. Your neighbor, can you say this one is enjoying life or life is enjoying your neighbor? Hmm. It's just being truthful. Just being truthful. Because that's a beginning. Being truthful, that's the beginning. That's the foundation. You know you're standing on truth. Then I can build that from here. You have got more vocabulary than progress. Why? Ask your neighbor. You have got more vocabulary than progress. Why? Discuss. Vocabulary. What is this? Am I in class now? Why? Why all this vocabulary? To impress you. You know, these are your sister's clothes. No permission. You just find yourself in them. <laughs> because your boyfriend is coming. Why? Tell the neighbor. You know these are your sister's clothes. No, no permission, but you just find yourself in them because your boyfriend is coming. Why? That's not right. It is not right. You are running ahead of yourself. Your sister, she's having this. You, you don't have. Ask her to remember you one day. <laughs> Not just who. Now, this sister has got a boyfriend also. The boyfriend, she's the one who bought this attire. Now she says, ah, now there are two of mine. Tell her never.
What is our problem? A very basic question, uh, message. And that's why we lose it here. We'll miss it here. Yes, sir. What can you say? Hmm? Thank you so much, Prophet, for the grace. Um, all I can say right now is uh, thank you so much for this message, and we are very grateful that you are teaching us to be better people. Um, yes, that's all I can say, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you. Junior, you are here today. Thank you. Thank you, Prophet, for this grace. This is a very life-changing teaching that can, if we can kill to eat, it, 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 it will transform us and make us to be successful. And uh, this teaching, if we can take it home to our own children, it will grow in generation. Amen. Because there's no reason for somebody to fail. It's just like we are failing ourselves because we are not real to ourselves. Can't you see? So even when you say, by the way, this is a comeback season. Yeah. But comeback should be based on truth. truth. That's all. But it's a comeback season. It's expansion. Yeah. But if you are not truthful, Junior, what? What will happen? Huh? Failure. That's the cyclical life I was telling you about. When I was growing up, when I was a teenager, because some of you, you still want to be teenager now, even when you can see your own grave there. <laughs> Tell your neighbor. Huh? Some of you even <laughs> want to be a teenager now, even ah. when you see your grave now. You see the grave is open, but you want to behave like a teenager. You are not preparing for the grave. Me, because of where I was working, it, had a, it was like center of a center. So a lot of people... I don't know whether I befriended them or they befriended me, but it took us out. You know, those days when you're a friend, uh, your friend is a president's son, you can imagine. I was more of a president's son than the son of a president. <laughs> But I'm telling the truth, you know. They are, uh, to me, they had to know. Hello, they had to know. That, that's a present son. Who is that one? I liked it <laughs> because they just promoted me to where I don't belong, and I was fighting very hard to be there. My father was never a politician. My mother didn't even know how to write. So what I was doing to myself, I don't know. <laughs> Tell the neighbor. <laughs> I don't know. Thank you, Sin. I don't know. In invitation, I'm there. Forcing, forcing. Until finally reality came. When you are living a life in a bubble one day and you are always afraid when this thing bursts. <laughs> Who am I? Who am I now? Before this thing crashes. Who am I? What, are, what will I do next? What have I achieved? It pained me. 
Because the little that I should put aside to build Mama house, I was busy building image. That is not there. Are you one of them? Ask your neighbor. No, I'm warning you. I'm warning. It's, it's timely warning. We can now achieve. All of us. And uh, because of that mentality, I went with it to, for studying uh, in other kingdom. So in class, I had a friend, white friends. <laughs> I had a rude awakening. They said, let's, let's go for coffee. They said, ah, let's go. <laughs> I order, they order. Everyone pay for themselves. I didn't have money. <laughs> because I say, they, they said, let's go for Coffee. The one who said, let's go, should pay. That's what I knew. <laughs> I was humbled. Of course, if you are not truthful, I've left my purse. I didn't even have a purse. <laughs> when are you going to be real? Maybe right now, you are riding on someone's back, thinking you are that person. I'm telling you, sister, my daughter, you are not that person. Be real. When you, when you are not real, you can never stop scheming. You always be a schemer. How to hold others down and others how to milk them. Cash cow. This is my cash cow. When people want to come to this, hey, hey, be careful with people these days. Huh? Yeah? I, I saw you with that one. I've listened now. You are destroying this one. Leave people to be free. What can you say, please? Because even now, if those who are real, there are seven areas you got to conquer. Even when you are true and you are real, there are seven areas to conquer. I cannot explain to those who are not real the seven areas. It's impossible. Because I'm telling who. Because this one is not real. So I'm talking to. Yes, please. Thank you so much, man of God, for this teaching. And another thing that I thank you, I thank God, is that it's a time of comeback. Yes. Yeah, because this life of not being real it goes deep beyond what we think when we are entering it. When we are going into it, it seems, it's just like a, it's just a, like you normally say that sin will take you far than you, you, you think you will go. And you stay longer. Longer than you, you thought. Because when we are pretending, you thought it's just for that day. Okay. Not knowing as time goes, you become addicted to that pre pretense. And you normally say again that a mask will soon become real. Yes. So many of us, we are wearing the mask we wear years back. So for us to remove it now is the battle we've been battling with, within ourselves. And the people we have deceived, for us to come back now, mm -hmm. we have deceived a lot of people. Most very like myself, I had a big image of myself. Mm -hmm. Even home, I... In short, anywhere I go, you, you must know that I'm, I'm, I've arrived. I'm you. there. Okay. But now, to come to truth, and the, 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 as time goes, truth always surfaces. Amen. Of who you are, and how broke you are, and yeah. how empty you are. Amen. It's always surface. When truth comes, do you know that you disjoin the group you are in, and you delete their number? It's all, or oh, you block it. Now you say block. <laughs> king, 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 king. King, king. This number always busy. And you cannot go that road. You take the longest road. Your friend was the shortest. But now it takes two hours to reach there. Because truth has. Continue. <laughs> Thank you. 
Uh, so like to me, what uh, I'm praying for myself is to come back for real and to be real with myself. And even to those that have deceived with my lifestyle, with my dress code and all how I lived. I'm trying by God's grace for me, I'm praying for God to give me the grace to obey the teaching so that I can know myself. That's what you need. Courage to live the message. Because you need courage here. Amen. It, it will not just wear off. Yes. Even now, when you go, because some of your friends, they don't know that you're a Christian. True. So when they come, say, ah, we didn't see you Sunday, we're praying. Say, no, <laughs> I went. <laughs> you know, I went. I went. You went what? And to those who come here by accident, they are here. They do know that they are here. You cannot leave home on a lie to come to a church of truth to receive truth to bless you. Nothing. Start with truth. Where are you going? Church. Don't say I'm going this way, that way. Then, you know, then I'll come again. Where did you go? Speak truth. It will help you. Because your friends, you went to church. Huh? You went to church. Since when? Now it's four years. Huh? <laughs> four years. You didn't tell me. But as long as you don't speak truth, it will delay your progress. Uh, my daughter, as long as you don't tell truth, you never have excess money. Never. You cannot. You, your bank account is in and out. That's what your bank, your account knows. Your account knows what? In, in and out. You are restless. How can your money rest in your account? Ask your neighbor. You are restless. How can your money rest in your account? Discuss it. <laughs> uh -huh. You are finished, huh? Um, mm. The last, another thing, you touch also in the area of children. Mm -hmm. You know, like, when we are into this life, because uh, remember the first place that we ourselves we didn't realize we are into, we went deep that we didn't realize we are in a fake life. Yes. In a, in a, in a wrong life. So as growing and having children, getting married, you find that it's a and web of deception all let, over. Let, 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 hold on, hold on. You rush so much. You are deceived. You marry. Is it real? That's why you say, my husband doesn't understand me. The husband said, my wife is the problem. Yeah. You went into this, both of you, problematic. One was lying to the other. Who's your father? That's you now. Who's your father? He's got a very big farm. He's a commercial farmer. You, your father, has got only two cattle. Huh? <laughs> How is he a commercial farmer? He's got no field. He buys everything from the shop. Two. Cattle. Commercial. Now later on, as you stay six months, one year. Papa wants to visit. Oh. You have forgotten his what? And he says we should help him with transport. <laughs> Hello. Help him with what? He can't drive. Commercial farmer should have these things. Hello? And when you say, okay, we, we use bus. But you, because you want to show off that life to Papa, petrol in a car, driving. Because people in the village should know that you got four wheel. Already that's wastage. 
The husband is waiting for wife and father-in-law. When father-in-law come, ah, is this the one? Oh, you left him. <laughs> it is skin on the bone. Commercial farmer. Tell you never. It is skin on the bone. Commercial farmer. And the way he eats. <laughs> you give him table to himself. You can't eat together. It's too, too small. Now, all this, you, you realize my husband knows now. Truth. And you make it your point that whenever your husband and your father are about to talk, you come in between. <laughs> to smooth the conversation. Now, why can't you be free? Why can't you not, like tonight, go and tell your husband, you know what, I'm tired. The thing I told you about my family, I'm tired. Well, my family, me, I say my father, butcher. He used to cut he heads of cattle in the butchery. That's I tell you, I suspect now that my father was a thief. <laughs> no, stealing meat. Because we are not lacking meat in the house. How? A worker in the butchery and every time having meat. It's now when I'm grown up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Something was not right. No, that was my father. I said that something was not right. But it's gone. Maybe he repented before dying. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. And there is hope for us as we are listening. There is. To yes. Even though I'm talking to those who are not yet married, but who are already wearing abbreviation to stop all those things. To be real. Be real. With reality, you are going to be blessed. Because it's truth. That's my daughter. Yeah. Thank you so much. Tomorrow, that is next week, you see. Tomorrow we are going to look at seven areas to deal with. So that you are totally free. Totally free. Huh? Even if this one has got million, million, it doesn't bother me. It's his. That's his. He knows why God gave him million. And I know why I was given 40 rand. I know. I'm not going to, to compare. I know who I am. Yes, please. Thank you, Dad, for the opportunity. Thank you, my girl. Thank you for this message, Dad. I want to say the life Dad is teaching of image versus integrity. I know the former very well. Um, if I could say so myself, I'm an expert in the image part of this message. And I have seen what it brings in a person's life. I have seen how it can distort the whole plan of God. Yeah. I have seen how... You it heard what you said? How it can distort, distort the whole plan of God. And it's true. Let's go for Jesus for that point. That's true. Continue, please. Thank you, Dad. I, I always say there's no human being who is powerful to cancel the plan of God, but falsehood is the one strong thing that I've seen practically in my own life where it ties the hands of God to work in a person's life. And I'm grateful that in a season such as this of comeback, Amen. God has not given up on a person like myself. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. That's all. But that demands work on your part. Truth is heavy. Few carry it. Lies are light. Nearly everyone carry it. 
That's why that life that my daughter just said briefly, it demands courage. It demands telling somebody, you know what, I'm tired of this. I'm tired. Some of you, because of this, thank you, sir. Thank you, Michael. Some of you, because of this life, you told your friend you are the only one in the family. But you know your disciples. <laughs> Tell your neighbor. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Mm. You know. No, I'm the only one. Oh. Okay. This is not right, what you're doing. It's not. That's why even the, these young marriages, just foundation, is shaky. Because one, the husband is trying all the best. And it's genuine, it's true. To say, let's have okra, let's have vegetable, let's have this and this. Your wife say, I don't, what is this? I don't eat this. My wife, there's no money. No, it's better if there's no money. The worst I can eat, bread and sausage. Aye. <laughs> yes, sir. What can you say, sir? Ah, it's a problem. That's why you see a man who just recently married is walking, but is expiring. <laughs> Hello? They're expiring. What? What's wrong? I thought you should be joyful now. Hey, prophet is tough. <laughs> what are you telling each other? What are you telling each other? Huh? You should have told each other truth. And it starts with you. Say, no, what you're saying can't work to me. Because this is what I have. That's all. But I cannot break. I cannot be broken to start living this artificial life. No, I can't. And I've told people, immediately you have a child in your home, your focus, both of you, should be on the child. But that's why you see some immature men. They are jealous of the child. This child, every month, new clothes, new clothes, new clothes. <laughs> Tell her never. This child, every month, new clothes, new clothes. <laughs> Thank you, Dad, for this grace. Thank you. From today, I learned that I need to live a real life. Amen. Because if I continue lying, I ended up doing nothing in this yes. world. Yes. yes. Thank you. Thank you so much. The, uh, this fake life, I don't know. I don't know why people love it, because it's nothing. Hmm? Thank you. Yes, sister in front here. Mm -hmm. Oh, the teaches me, prophet, that I can must from as from today, I must change the way I, I'm living. Yes, I must live a life of image, not life of integrity. No, 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 the opposite. <laughs> No, it's okay, it's okay, yeah. it's the opposite. She meant the opposite, yeah. please. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And uh, also, this is the teaching that I have to sit down with my children also and tell them. That's it. That they mustn't live the life I lived before because I didn't know anything, I didn't know the truth. Let's clap for Jesus. There it is. <laughs> and the key thing she has said, I'll sit down with my children. Because that's where... If you are wrong, the pressure is there now. Yeah. Mama, you said every birthday there will be party for me. You go there, we can only celebrate you when you are born. These other days, it's a repetition of what happened on that day. <laughs> How many birthdays are they going to have? Birthday, birthday. It's just repetition. Are you now born? 
see how much you are spending on this thing. That's what she says. Let's go back to the children. My children, please, it's me and your mother who misled you. Forgive us. School will continue normally. But this and this and this, what you say, no, we were eating, our, our mouth was small. We put in too much meat. Now we're failing to breathe with the meat in the mouth. Please, we want to vomit it. So that we start eating small, small. Children are easy, though there'll be a bit of rebellion. Because you should know, this idea of yours, even your children picked it, the friends they have, they are like you. But it's better they break it early before it becomes established in them. Thank you very, very much. Very, very much. Thank you. Yes, sir. You know, they wanted to kill you at home because you say you're a big man. Yes. Thank you, Prophet, for the grace. Thank you for the teaching. I've learned a lot with what you have said, and uh, almost everyone that you have picked on, they have uh, really emphasized on the message. Uh, if we, I don't lead a truthful life, I would distort God's plans for everything that he has to do for me. This is the greatest thing that I've got from this lesson. Thank you so much, Prophet. Thank you so much. Yes, sir. This lesson. This. Because you're a cowboy. You even changed your name. Why? Hmm? Hello? Yes, sir. Why did you change your name? I'm John Scow. Another paper? John Scow. Are you sure? Yes, perfect. Oh, okay. Hi. Okay. Uh, talk, sir. Okay. Uh, thank you, Prophet, for the grace. Um, and thank you for the message. There is hope for me to, to live a truthful life mm -hmm. after this message. Oh, only now, eh? Yes, Prophet. There, I salute you for speaking truth. Thank you. Because if you continue to saying what I'm seeing and what you are supposed to say, I was going to confront you. But I said the truth from now. Yes, prophet. Please. Yes. Shani, you love God, like my daughter said. It's your lifestyle up until now that has distorted God's plans for your life. You. Yes, prophet. And you are easily influenced for wrong. Because you want to achieve in wrong. You can never achieve in wrong. No, no. Please, Sammy. Hmm? Yes, perfect. Be real. Be real. When you marry or you date a girl on lies, you are going to be arrested because you want to impress this girl. Yeah. There is nothing wrong if you don't have tea bag and your girl come, you burn sugar to make it. You are real. This girl knows to say this one doesn't pretend. Number one, I can't go and borrow tea bag. I can make tea bag here. If you want to leave me, leave me. That's it. These are qualifications now. Is this lady going to stay with me until death? Or immediately, when I burn sugar for tea bag, I'm left alone. No, it's true. These are the things. Life is not always flying. I'm telling you the truth. So your lady, your man, your lady, should put their feet 
on the ground and knowing truth. Together, you, can, you will overcome. So please, Jones, I would like to see you. Thank you, Prophet. Please. Thank you. It has delayed. It has delayed himself. Hmm? It's wanting to be what you are not. Outside people, we are together, please. Huh? I hope you heard. Who heard? Explain, sir. You in front here. Yeah. Oh, it's, it, it's hot now. Hey. Thank you, Prophet. Uh, I have learned to be real to myself and to my family as well. And uh, today, I have known that I've been always living a life that is not true. I have known that today. And I thank you, Prophet, for your teaching. Actually, always your teaching. Teach me something. On, on a daily basis. It is not only this teaching that I hear today. Every time when I hear your teachings, I learn something from it. And I also tell my, my children and my, my, my wife about the teachings. Amen. So I thank you very much. Thank you very much, Uncle. Now, uh, look at Uncle's age. And you hear what he's saying, but you are still playing. How can you warn like the church, please? Church of Jesus Christ. What what can you warn them about? Thank you so much. They must take they must take your teachings very seriously. It is not everywhere where you can get teachings like this. That's why we walk long way from where we stay to come here. There's churches all over where we are. But we choose to come here because here there's, there's truth. Yeah. So it's up to you. You can choose playing or you can choose truth. Truth will set you free. Lying will bind you and all those diseases will be new. And the problem again it doesn't just leave you like that. Thank you so much, Uncle. It leaves you destroyed, completely destroyed. Because you cannot run away from paralysis. You won't wake up from bed because all your systems are packed up. You got no hope. And because of the shame that is about to come, you fail to wake up. What can you say, Uncle, please? My cousin. Yes, our family member. I really love what our uncle said there. Yes. Uh, thank you, Prophet. Take it this out while here. For the teaching. This one. Yeah. Thank you, Prophet, for the teaching of today. I have learned that uh, we have to live a simple life, not to pretend. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, what have you been living? How have you been living? Um, I've been pretending all the time, trying to protect um, my image from people, not to know the truth. Yeah. Thank you very much. Was mm. it, has it been easy? No, it's not easy. That type of life, can you keep money? No, you can't, because you'll be trying to build your own image. Yes, you can't. Whatever you can have, it will go. Because somewhere else, somebody will look, and you want to look like them. So that's why even going to the bank to collect money that you don't have. Because some of us who are working now, but our real pay will come in 2028. 20, Tell your neighbor. 
Some of us are working now, but our real pay will come in 2028. Yes. Oh, here it's already eaten. You are working to pay back. Why? And this eating, there is no house again. So what are you doing with yourself? Thank you very much, sir. Yes. Thank you, Prophet. Thank you. What are you doing with yourself? Your real, real pay will come when? 2028. That's why every time money is not enough. Money is not enough. When are you going money enough? You don't know. Yes, please. Thank you, Prophet, for the grace. When you started, you said, can hmm. I be educated and become nothing? Yes. There's something wrong. When I look at my life, that is exactly what is happening. And the other thing you said, you live uh, a life of seiko. How can you come out of that seiko? Then I said to myself, when you're asking those questions, I said, no, I can't come out of the seiko. Because from the word go, I haven't been living on truth. Mm -hmm. I've been living a, a life of, of, of no truth in me. So it's, it's, not, it was, it's not easy for me to come out of the seiko as long as I continue to live in lies without being truthful to myself, I'll never come out of this. That's right. But as from today, mm. as you were talking, I was looking at my children and I said, from now, what yes. should I tell them Good. that this is where I went wrong? Amen. Because it's not too late for them to catch up Amen. and say, if my mother can come, up, come out and tell us the truth, then there's hope for them. Let's clap for Jesus. Yes. Your child, when you say, I was wrong, I made wrong decisions, I lived my life wrongly, your child will be encouraged to come back when they also make mistake. To say, Mom, my friends also made mistake. The mistake you made, I also made it, Mom. That's what will be there. Yes, sir. Huh? So all along you've been coming for prayer line to be delivered that it is Satan. Where is Satan here? This guy. Where is Satan? Yeah. Thank you so much. Sit down, madam. Where is Satan in your circle? Yeah, quiet. Yes, please. Thank you very much, men of God, about today's teaching. It is really a life that we are living. Uh, I've learned about uh, the life of image. The life of image has got uh, a recurring lies that cannot stop because mm -hmm. lie after lies after lie. Then I've chosen to walk with God. Amen. Because my children are also here. I'm happy about this teaching. Really, thank you very much about the teaching. It's true, it's real. It's what is happening. Mm -hmm. Yes. Have you got reserves in case of emergency? No. You yeah, are 22 years? No. What were you doing all this time? I was living as a group because if you are living a life of image, you are not living by yourself. You are living as a group. That is. Here, words of wisdom. Here. This group is WhatsApp. No, it's within me because when <laughs> I'm taking a decision, it's WhatsApp and in myself again. Because when I'm taking decision, I'm also consulting people within myself. Not only on the WhatsApp. So when you are wear, when you're buying jacket, you have this crowd that is seeing your jacket. <laughs> yes. Congratulations, sir. How about you, sir? <laughs> Thank you so much, Mbazi. Thank you, Father for the message. It's indeed a season of comeback. 
and I'm grateful for the teachings that will give me a way back to myself and know who I am. There are many questions about my life and about the very me that I bypassed. And now it really takes me to answer them properly and be true to myself. Thank you, Abba, for leading us back to where we are supposed to be. Thank you very much, sir. Yes, sir. You know, when you look at impact membership, you think we should build a church now. But we can't. People are overburdened in wrong. You'll be shocked, for example, to hear that it is only 111 people maintaining ITVN. Only 111 people. This ITVN screen, you see. Look here. So do not look at people from outside. They are not faithful unto Creator because of wrong, not being truthful, living a life of a lie. These are lies. What can you say, sir? Thank you, Dad. Thank you, Prophet, for, for the message. With me, I grew in it. In and it what? In this image, false image, false pretense. I, I grew in it. And for me to disengage myself from it now, I've been trying, but it has been very hard. Okay, before you even tell us the negativity of this, yes. what has it produced in you, sir? Now, when we look at you, mm. is this image? That is the frustration that I'm in, Prophet. It frustrates me that it's not bringing me any results. Because I've been in it for so long, I have lied to myself that I'm making it, whereas I'm not making it at all. That, that is the problem that I'm... I'm I, I don't know if you where, to, where to start right now. You don't know? Yeah, because, because the so problem many things is, is messed up. Let yeah, the problem that. with you, where you misdirected yourself, yeah. this time it grows by itself, mm. this stomach of yours. Yeah. It grows by itself. It's not because you're making it. Mm. Now when you look at it, you say you're making it. That's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> that is, that is the problem. Huh? Yeah, this is the problem. Bro. What is the problem? Yeah, it, it's false everything. <laughs> There's <laughs> nothing truth about the whole thing. That's that, it. That's, that, that's, that. So I need to be real, to sit down, at least I got a wife. Yes. And at least it, she must also help me. So she, she has yeah. gone through a lot, yeah. your wife. Mm. I know she already passed the help, Prophet. Hmm? She already passed the help. Your wife, huh? Yeah. With, with me, Prophet, where I come from, she knows she can attest to that. Because she was nothing before. The yeah. time you, are, you said you are making it. Yeah. You are looking down on this lady. Yeah. Honest. In yeah. fact, the, even the family. Mm. Nothing. Yeah. But the nothing one has kept you. That's true. Can't you see? The nothing one has kept, kept you. me. Yeah. Now it's your image issue, mm. of which I don't know which image. Mm, I, I also can't tell you, Prophet. <laughs> 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 but look, what has, it mm. has destroyed you. Mm. That is very true. About my daughters, they have got it also. They are. Pray yes. for this power to break. That's true. Otherwise, there won't be progress. Mm. There won't be progress. There won't. Yes. Mm -mm. If this power is not broken in, in your family, mm. every, everyone is not that uh, prophesying lie. He, everyone will be renting. Mm. 
That's a problem with image people. Yes. Everyone will be renting. Because you can't have access to qualify. Thank you so much, sir. Yes, sir. Hmm? Good afternoon, Dad, and uh, thank you for the yes, grace. Yes, sir, just speak, please. Ne you, oh, you want again this image. <laughs> ah. uh, today I've learned, I've learned that um, life of integrity is very, very important, Father. As uh, Dad had mentioned, that uh, this, is, this is the beginning of achievement because I'll say today's topic has gone deeper for me. Because when I go, as you are teaching, I was going back. Yes. Even the time that I was saving in the church, in mm -hmm. the department. It was image. It was image, Dad. For, why? For who? Ah, Dad, I had this crowd in my head, you know. Even and when no I'm one even saw you that you got that image. You? <laughs> <laughs> no one. Can you see? So those small t shirt you are wearing it was for image, to show your small chest like that. Daddy, what Daddy is saying is true. <laughs> That's why, even even as Dad had moved, he was there. I just went back. Okay. Then I said, uh, "Lord, thank you for today's teaching. This has really been a punch, very very painful, but very very. I would say it's a very good medicine for me. Yes. I, Can I tell you something, Sonny? Any medicine that is sweet, it will not heal you." Genuine medicine to heal you should be bitter. All the doctor now they do the pharmacy, they just put sweetener. When that sweetener is gone, you find bitterness in it. Genuine medicine is bitter. To get rid of that rubbish. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Father. Label. Hmm? Image. I can't wear this shoe. I can't eat this. I can't what? I can't. What do you mean, you people? Huh? Thank you, my father. It's true. Um, image has really destroyed me. Mm -hmm. yes, uh, and there's no fruit for it. That's it's not it. even worth it. And when you see it in your house, my daughter, yes, sir. throw it out. Yes, sir. It should... You should not even have a smell of image in yes, your sir. home. Then you are safe. Yes, sir. It's terrible, this. It destroys. It leaves people pata pata. That's why you see those who've been fighting for image, when they've failed everything, it's when they remember they got a village. Tell your neighbor. Then say, I'm going to village. Eastern Cape and Pumalang. Now my mother has got a house. At your age, you say, my mother has got a You, at your age like this. My mother has got a house. Instead of you saying you got a house, then you know you're sick. At your age, you say, my mother has got a house, you. Okay, how about your child? She's going to say what? My, mother, my grandmother has got a house for us with my father. Thank you. Hmm? Yes, how about you, this image? Yeah, thank you, sir. Thank you. We just, yes, let's hear the last one then. Even here, that's why we've got pop, we've got real food here. No food for image here at tech shop. It's real food, not image food, where you just eat with your hands on top like this. Eat full and drink water, look for a shed, rest. Mm, yes. Thank you, Dad, for the teaching. In the beginning, you said preparation is work. Yes. Thank you, Dad, for the work that you are doing in us. You are preparing us, especially our children. Amen. There because she is. You heard for yourself, huh? No image. Hmm? Thank you. More so, you want to be a doctor. Doctor does not have image because you are treating us sick people. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Dad, again. Was when we grew up, Dad, we've been taught to have a secret in the family. Secret? 
Yes, did. Okay, like which one? Uh, there were a lot of that we have been taught. Just one. To lie that you are rich. Ah. Yes, did. From the family? Yes. How? You are not supposed to expose poverty. Poverty in the family. But expose what? That you are rich. Like us, we are all big people in our family, so it was very easy to show people that we are rich. Hiding in the size of your body. That's true, that. But inside there, you are poor. Yes, we are boiling. <laughs> family that, discussion that you are rich. That's true, uh, We are destroyed badly, yeah? So, but when I joined this ministry, it has changed a lot in my life. And now people are starting to say a lot of things about myself that I'm hiding something from them. They, they cannot even visit me. So the they other day, visit that, you because of what? The other day you taught us that if people are running away from you, don't yeah. be jealous. You are unique. Yes. So I would like to thank you for the uniqueness that you've created in my life. In my okay, family. my dear son. If all that crowd came to your house, how many bags of meal meal are you going to have? May we stand up and confess, please? Thank you. Hmm? Let's all prayer, offer prayer. You know where you have missed it. You know what you have told people, workmate, friends, your wife up to now, she's still, you told her you, your father is a king and you, you are the next one to take over, but she doesn't know the kingdom. Oh, sometimes you say, I'm fighting for this kingdom. Only you, you know. Please, what we can't see, leave it. Do something that we can see and we can deal with it in Jesus Christ mighty name. Amen. Prayer. Thank you for watching. This broadcast is made possible by our ITVN partners and friends. Keep watching ITVN.